Hello, my name is H Z. Today, let's talk about how to know the temperatures of your Ubiquiti Unify switches. I'm going to talk about four different methods. First one, using the command line interface in the SSH, which comes with your switches. Method two, you can download device information from the Unify controller. Method three, you can monitor your device temperatures using SNMP. The last method, you can measure the temperatures by yourself. Now let's launch a terminal. Let me try to make the font larger. Okay, now let's use SSH, the username, and at the address of your switch devices. Uh, this time I want to access my USW Pro aggregation, the 28 parts uh, aggregation. Okay, password. Okay, now you are in the Unify OS. So as you can see, it's Unify USW Pro aggregation. The command line you want to uh, type in is SW C T R L E N V show. Okay, there are two sections. First, it lists your temperature sensors. Second part is the fan sensors. Uh, you can see it lists general temperature. So, not all Unify switches have the part level sensors, but as long as they have sensors, they should have the general temperature sensor. As you can see from mine, it's 45. Keep in mind, it's Celsius, not Fahrenheit. Okay, then you here you can see it lists out five different temperature sensors. Uh, they are either on CPU, on the motherboard, or uh, close to different uh, parts. Sometimes it's SFP parts, sometimes it's your RJ45 parts, or depending, your, depending on your switch type. Okay, as you can see, the temperature is normal, and uh, here it list, even lists out what's the maximum temperature, what's the alert level temperature. And in the fan duty level here, uh, you can see the four different fans. Uh, this is my only switch, Unify switch, which has uh, fans. Uh, it has four built-in fans, and this is current speed, and the duty level is a percentage. And here it tells you whether it's op operational or not. So it looks very straightforward and it's very fast and it gives you the real time reading. Just to save time, I already logged into uh, all my other different type of uh, Unify switches. Uh, let's take a look uh, what do they show in uh, temperature in SSH. Now let's uh, we just show the USW Pro aggregation, right? So this is the twenty eight parts uh, aggregation. Now let's move on to the eight parts aggregation, non pro version. As you can see, it doesn't have temperature sensor. It doesn't have fan. So basically, it doesn't have anything. That's the non pro version. Move on uh, to my. Unify Pro 24. Uh, it is a 24-part uh, switch, Pro version, but not uh, PoE. <laughs> so as you can see, it has a general temperature, and it's report 66 uh, Celsius. And you know what? This is one of my uh, hottest device. So. It's pro version, 
but it doesn't have funds. I'm not sure whether it's a right decision by Ubiquity, but I kind of worry about the、uh, life of this Pro Switch because it run very hot. Many times it's even hotter than my ten、uh, gigabits aggregation. <coughs> okay, now let's move on to the Unify USW twenty four G two. This is the general, the second generation twenty four ports、uh, switch. It is not Pro version. It's not PoE, as you can see, as expected. No temperature sensor, no fans. <laughs> okay, move on to next one. <coughs> it is wonderful. Uh, uh, again, another very hot switch. It's US eight one fifty W version. It uh, Ubiquiti has multiple eight bit eight part uh PoE switches. Uh, similar sizes, but this one is the eight PoE part one.、Uh, it has one fifty watts. <laughs> It's very hot. So as you can see, even though it doesn't have Pro in the、uh, model number, but it does have multiple temperature sensors. Here it even tells you whether the sensor is for PoE part or for CPU or motherboard. Okay, as you can see, the 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 alert temperature is super high. This one is even higher than one hundred Celsius, and my my car current status is already sixty Celsius. So this switch runs very hot because I used up all the、uh, eight parts. Okay, now let's move on to another one. This is uh the the ah、uh, the one I just show you that was little brother, it's US eight sixty watt, so it has eight parts, but uh only four of them are PoE, so this one also runs very hot. If you check all the online reviews, the first impression people will give you is is the temperature, right? But And some people will say the the bigger brother, the one fifty watt, is cooler. No, not in my experience. So, but interestingly, you can log on to the SSH. But if you type the command, it doesn't give you anything. It even doesn't care to say, okay, I don't have sensor. No, it simply tell you nothing. That's interesting. Okay, move on to next one. This is the 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 cheapest、uh, switch. It's the five part、uh, white、uh, non PoE switch. Uh, uh, I'll show you what it tell you. See, the connection is simply rejected, which means this、uh, switch even doesn't. Support SSH. Of course, it doesn't have any sensor, right? So that's another uh, interesting uh, result if you try to SSH into it. Okay, the last thing I want to show you, just make it fun. I want to show you what we have in the Cloud Key Plus. So I have this Cloud Key Plus. I know it's not a switch. But、uh, I'll show you what it tells you if you try to see what's the temperature, right? So I'm already in SSH into it. As you can see, the ASCII art is already different. It's not Unify OS anymore. It's Cloud Key Plus. And let me try to type the same command. S W E N V show. See, it tell you command not found. So basically, it runs a totally different operating system. I know it's、uh, just another Linux, but I mean, it's not the same as other normal Ubiquiti Unify switches. So it doesn't have uh, uh, 
uh, the same command. Too bad, because you know what? Because maybe you don't believe me, but this Cloud Key Plus runs even hotter than my other switches. It doesn't have fun. It's super small. It has a. It comes with a one terabyte uh, hard drive, but I only use it for my as my controller. I don't use all the Unify Protect functionality. I don't have any cameras uh, connected, so I don't understand why it was so hot. But but later I can show you how you can measure it by yourself, even though the the software refused to tell you anything. Okay.